Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the equation of the line passing through the point 101 and parallel to the line given by these equations here. These are called parametric equations. Alright, so the formula that we need to use to find the equation of the line is the following. So x equals x sub 1 plus at. That's the generic formula for our first parametric equation. The next one is y1 plus bt, and z equals z1 plus ct. If you're wondering where these um, lines come from, I made a video uh, deriving them. It's in my uh, Calculus 3 playlist. It should be uh, before uh, this one somewhere. So it's a pretty good video because it shows you exactly how to come up with these. All right, so all we have to do is figure out what is what in this problem. So our x1 is right here. That's our point. We need a point on the line. Our y1 is 0 and our z1 is 1. So that part's easy. And then the ABC, those are called direction numbers. So V is called a direction vector. It's a vector that's parallel to our line, right? And A, B, and C are called direction numbers. Well, our line is parallel to the line that has these symmetric equations. So you see here A is 3, B is negative 2, and C is 1. So A is 3 is negative 2 and c is 1. So the vector 3, negative 2, 1 is parallel to this line here. Our line is parallel to this line here. Therefore, our line is also parallel to this vector. Let me say that again carefully. So this vector here, 3, negative 2, 1, is the direction vector for these parametric equations for this line. So this vector is parallel to this line. Our line is parallel to this line. Therefore, our line must also be parallel to this vector. It's really important to understand the thinking. Therefore, we can use this as our direction vector. So RV is going to be the same. So it'll be 3, negative 2, 1. Now all we do is plug in the numbers, and we are done. So let's go ahead and do that. So x is going to be 1, and then our a is 3, so plus 3t, right, that's our a. And then y is, well, y1 is 0, so I won't write it, and then z1 is 2, so just negative 2t. And then z is, well, let's see, z1 is 1, so it's 1. And then c, c is 1, so it's just going to be plus t. And these are the parametric equations uh, for... Uh, our uh, line. Um, if we wanted to find symmetric equations, we could. Um, let's, let's go ahead and do it. So to find the symmetric equations, you can just solve each of these for t and set them equal. Or you can memorize the formula. The formula was the following. It was x minus x1 over a equals y minus y1 over b equals z minus z1 over c. It's really easy to memorize. Of course, if you forget it, you can just solve this for t. So you would get t equals x minus 1 over 3. That would be your first one. And then here you would get t equals y over negative 2. And then the last one would be t equals z minus 1 over 1. And that is precisely what you would get if you use the formula. Let's try it. Let's use the formula now. So x minus x1. So x1 was 1. So we get x minus 1, a is 3, so 3, equals y minus 0, so I'll just put y, b is negative 2, and then z minus 1, and then c is 1. And that's exactly what we have here when we solve for t. did that kind of quickly, but I wanted to show you two ways to come up with symmetric equations. So these are the symmetric equations, symmetric EQNs, and these, my friends, are the parametric, parametric equations. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Thank you for watching. That's it.